Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. All praise be to Allah, peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad and all the prophets from Adam to him, peace be upon them all. In this part, we will talk about thinking good, seeing good, looking at things around us positively. Our worth, our value lies in what we have inside. Or worth of human being depends on his or her thought. The hadith that I mentioned in our last presentation, Al-Mu'min Mu'minu Mir'atul Mu'min, a believer is a mirror of another believer, has been used and commented by Mamlana in several places of his Masnavi and also in Fihamafi. And this hadith, of course, we find different forms of uh, it is narration, various versions in the Sahih collections, authentic collections of the prophetic literature hadith. One of which, for example, as you find in Sahih al Bukhari, Al Mu'minu Mir'atu Akhihi Ida Ra'a Fiha Aiban Aslahahu. A believer is the mirror of his brother when he sees a fault in him or a fault with him, he should correct it. And so Mamlana uses the metaphor of mirror in many places and very essential symbol for him. We seem to be Seeing ourselves always perfect, that's human nature. And Mevlana uh, gives an example to us. He says, an elephant one day was taken to a well to drink. Seeing itself in the water, it shied away. It thought it was shying away from another elephant. It did not realize, in fact, it was shying away from his own self, its own self. So Mevlana says all evil qualities, oppression, hatred, envy, mercilessness, arrogance, pride, greed, ambition, you name, when they are within yourself, they bring no pain. But when you see them in another, then you shy away and feel the pain. We feel no disgust, for example, at our own wound, Mevlana co continues, or scab, or abscesses, like inflamed tissue. So when we dip our infected finger, for example, into our food, we shouldn't bother. We may lick our fingers without turning into least, you know, like a disgust. But if we see a tiny abscess wound on, uh, you know, or a scratch on another's hand, we immediately shy away from that person's food and have no stomach for that. He says, evil qualities are just like scabs and abscesses. When they are within us, they cause no pain. But when we see them even to a smaller portion in another, we feel pain and disgust. So Mevlana emphasizes, just as you shy away from your brother and sister, you should excuse them for shying away from you too. The pain you feel comes from those faults and they see the same faults. Here, Mamlana re 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 returns again to the point that our interior side 
is always reflected by our outward appearance or outward appearance in fact is a reflection of our inner side our inward soul in a sense so he gives an example Abu Jahl one day saw Ahmed meaning the Prophet Muhammad is upon him and said you have an ugly face and you are son of Hashim it's an ugly face ugly you are an ugly figure and the Prophet was very quiet Ahmed of course Mevlana uses Prophet's other name Ahmed said to him you are right and you have spoken the truth although you are impertinent then for a while of course Abu Jahl left maybe his point is his uh, uh, insulting remark was to upset the Prophet and make him angry but Prophet is a Prophet he controlled himself and he always gives an advice and wisdom for us to consider and to practice so then Abu Bakr Siddiq came and saw the Prophet and said to him oh son you are neither of East nor of West you are shining so beautifully like Sun Ahmed said to him the Prophet you have spoken the truth oh my dear friend now those who were observing these two different remarks and by two different people one Abu Jahl one Abu Bakr Siddiq you know the first Caliph of Islam and the very faithful as his name you know suggests and the people said to Prophet both of them said different things in contradiction but yet you told them they are correct he said the Prophet I am a mirror polished by the hand when they see me whoever sees me whether Turk or Indian whoever sees me they see themselves in me so in a sense we are like crystal clear clear mirrors so polished that everyone sees in us his or her own face or form so the believer now is a mirror of their fellow believers we are like mirrors that are polished whoever beholds us sees his or her own image and in referring to the prophet muhammad peace be upon him like serving as a mirror niyaz misri one of the most famous mystical poet of ottoman period during the ottomans says i'll, I'll give you my turk english translation i am referring to prophet i am a mirror in the creation whoever beholds me whatever he sees in me sees his face himself either beautifully or ugly either beautiful or ugly so what determines our selves what determines who we are what we are for a believer faith in Allah is a determining criterion for our dignity the faith kept by believers Memlana says whether they are in the prison or in the rose garden has dignity as a believer have you ever seen a name without reality no everyone has a reality what makes us different important is our faith and Memlana gives this example he says like you have a rose it's a rose and also other uh, flowers but rose is unique a special not because it's of shape but all, it is water oil it's oil it's essence so the essence of a person is his or, or her faith oil look at this says Mevlana the son of Abu Jahl became a true believer for all to see but look at the son of Noah, became one of those who lost the way. And 
He was a son of the prophet, the other one son of a disbeliever. So, Mevlana says, lay your hand on the one and Ahmed, meaning the prophet. So you put your trust, you give your faith in Allah and practice Ahmed's way. O oh brother, escape from the Abu Jahil of your body. You concentrate on your inside morality and spirituality. He says at the time when the intellectual guest was in keeping, the um Omar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, was very intimate with Abu Jahil, whose name was that time Abu Hakam, the father of wisdom, <laughs> but turned into father of ignorance. When Omar went away from the intellectual world towards spirit, he, Mevlana says, Abu Hakam became Abu Jahil. So if a human being were a man in, in virtue of a form, Ahmed and Abu Jahil would be the same. The painting on the wall is like Adam. See from, from the form what thing in it once misses. This brings us to the famous saying, I think it's attributed to Imam Shafi. May Allah be pleased with him. Qimatul insan fikretu. Human sword is measured by his or her thought, meaning by, by what he thinks. And Mawlana says, Oh my brother, you are that same thought. So far, if you think of you, you are just a thought. The rest of you are simply flesh and bone. Therefore, if your thought is rose, you are a rose garden. However, if it is a thorn, you are fuel to the stove. If you are rose water, you are sprinkled on head and bosom. Everybody will be blessed with your presence. So beautifully smelling, fragrance. But if you are like, sorry to use the expression, Mevlana's expression, if you are like urine, you are cast out from the Mesnevi. So let us think good. Let us see others with good intention, good faith. Let us form good opinions about others. And let us have positive thought, positive outlook, and positive worldview, positive vision to others. Let our hearts once again be filled with the love of Allah. Let our minds and be nurtured by moral and spiritual wisdom of the Quran. May Allah's love and mercy and peace be upon you all.